Hello guys, Alex here. And from the title of this video, you must be asking yourself, hey, what does this even mean? All right, so the unthinkable have happened. And unfortunately, I've recorded six episodes from the last episode you've seen and now. And unfortunately, they've all been corrupted. Something went wrong with uh, Fraps. And I don't know, killed all the videos are simply corrupted and cannot be used. So the result is that uh, I cannot bring you the leg the legitimate sensation of actually the enjoyment of finishing the map, but I can give you this. In the meantime, to be honest, it didn't lose much. I feel obliged to show you actually how my nether world actually evolved in all that time, uh, so we can understand. How, how, it's, how I made it. So I pretty much got to a point where I moved all my apiaries here and kept producing and inbreeding more sinister, fiendish and even got some demonic bees. And I created this system right here that is basically helping me uh, process everything that I made here, all the simmering combs, uh, into the centrifuge here. So I have this chest here and all the system here that can be uh, used to basically automate everything all the processing of the stuff and all of this is powered by these electrical engines which get their power from brace yourselves uh, you can see this thing right here I'm gonna get to this in one second I got set up um, the blaze farm properly I also expanded here slowly on my uh, refueling methods and I got all this crazy thing built uh, it's quite uh, an astonishing build I think as I've mentioned like 7 or 17 times in my uh, original video this is probably the craziest um, EMC farm that I've made no doubt this, however, is something that I'm not very um, enjoying to do, actually, because it's like completely breaking the two mods, which are industrial craft and equivalent exchange. However, as I've said in the unfortunately corrupted files, this is designed as simply the only way to get stuff done. And to prove it to you, you can see how fast um, red matter is being made. And actually, all those blaze powder are excess blaze powder that I've manually placed here right before leaving the nether, which are still being burned because all this excess powder is being transformed into diamond blocks, into four different chests, and it still doesn't stick. So, this is why. Actually, I'm going to give you a quick tour on how one module works. If you guys are interested, you can feel free to use it. Um, Using my normal uh, system here to regenerate buck um, uh, lava buckets, basically sending all the empty buckets here and having this transposer and this transposer send uh, buckets to these deployers here and those filter out milk buckets only, just as you are familiar with. And every module have a lot of liquid pipes underneath, geothermals up top glass harbor cables up top and since I'm also using them adjacent to each other I made it better by uh, coloring each line to differentiate everything so this way it's actually more CPU efficient because the EU basically doesn't bounce around all the wires so it's actually a smarter thing to do in my opinion and this all go into powering a macerator with four overclockers um, with the filter taking out whatever product there is, feeding an alchemical condenser and that feeding back into here, creating a small loop. And this way it can be placed right next to each other adjacent uh, there. And also another trick here is I'm using um, the restriction tubes that will simply um, make sure that all the excess blaze powder that I want to condense into pure EMC will travel in this line here and be condensed and eventually I had enough EMC to make all the sets the entire 
gem armor set right now I'm using this armor I'm gonna explain you guys just in one second why and also finished creating all of the re needed refractory wax so let me get to the overworld and explain what happened back there also as you can see you can see from the timer uh, right now it's a 37 hours and 40 minutes in. I've pretty much completed the challenge on 37 hours exactly. Uh, you can take more word for it, but if you don't trust me, if it pleases you, uh, what time you saw, whatever time you saw in the first uh, second of the video, you can count this as my time for completing the challenge. All right. So uh, after I got all the refactor wax, I filled it everything. Everything with fuel, with oil, which I had from here. Uh, lava, I made manually. Biomass, biofuel, water, honey. Um, was it uh, juice? No, that's seed oil and juice. Fed it to the beast, in addition to the crazy EMC stuff. And pretty much nothing else happened. And... Once I did the last thing, which would give it the last... Oh, actually, this is new. You didn't see this chest. Oh, so you're actually experiencing something completely new for me. What does this thing do? Is it a recipe? Nope. Alright, I guess this is like a joke or something. So this is completely new, by the way. I didn't know this was here. Um... So what happened is the back wall here went up. As you can see, there are frames here. See all the credit rolls for all the mod makers and their respective mods. And of course, uh, the map builder and everything. And then there are two bonus objectives, which one of them I actually made. One of them is getting the dragon egg, basically killing the end dragon and getting the dragon egg, which I've got. And the other one is um, getting every type of possible bee mut mutation. And I went into the end, actually fought the Ender Dragon. I died the first time, so that's why you see my inventory is quite weird. I'm missing a lot of stuff that I'm usually carrying with me. So I died, created a whole new set, just a minimal set of Dark Iron Helmet, uh, Armor, Greaves and Boots. Swift Wolves, Archangel Smite, and a Lifestone. And finally got rid of the dragon, brought the egg here, and realized that in order to actually complete this last challenge, I actually need to mutate every possible bee. So that's pretty much it. To be honest, um, I do feel bad that those six episodes were corrupted and went to waste. But, looking on the bright side, I prefer those last episodes being corrupted, uh, unlike getting like uh, somewhere in the mid-20s or 30s, because they were much more important. Right here, to be honest, all I did was go over the bees all, all the time and set up the macerator farm going, the blaze farm macerators, and it's pretty much boring, uh, in my opinion. Um... Again, sorry for you guys, that's the best thing I can do. I didn't want to give you guys like fake content and I don't know, delete some of the stuff and imitate like I'm doing it all over again. I don't believe in those kind of things. Uh, there are pros and cons to it, of course. Um, the biggest con is that you guys can't get the content you've been looking for. But then again, like I said before, this is the... If I had to have to give it a rank, I'd say like the last three, six episodes would have been pretty much the worst episodes. Well, maybe the building part of the Macerator Farm was quite nice and interesting, but not much more than that. So, as I've said in the original final episode, regarding the mutation of the bees, I can't promise you guys anything. I'll try to get it done, maybe upload um, video updates regarding all of this, see how it goes. If it ends up being interesting, I'll update you guys. If it's not, then I probably won't. Uh, don't wait for this. If it, if it pops up in your sub subscription box, then awesome. If not, don't be too disappointed. 
I'm most definitely going to upload um, a, a save file with the with this map of mine. And since the mod pack is free to download and is basically approved, I might actually also um, add the mod pack itself, or or give you simply a link to where to get it exactly, so you can guys easily get familiar with what's going on here. So again, sorry for your for the inconvenience for letting you guys down. I hope I did what I can. And see you guys in the next step, next video.